All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another part of this Black Myth Wukong walkthrough. Okay, I think we're actually starting a boss fight already. I didn't mean to just yet. I went back to the Mantis Catching Shrine. Ooh, I didn't really mean to start this. with your staff. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Oh, what the freak? Oh, we're gonna fight inside of Zubaji, aren't we? Ew, that's nasty. Oh, so this is the boss, that tiny little mantis. With steel blades? No, that's just... Emerald armed mantis. We're just gonna go right into... Oh, he doesn't have all that much... Shouldn't have done that right then. Wait, what? Does he have a different phase? That was not a tough boss fight. I know he has more, obviously. He better not be a mantis and have fire attacks. Or no, that's poison, definitely. Move forward. I need to heal up. Dude, what the freak? Oh my lord. That combo is insane. That freaking combo is insane, my guy. Are we going to spawn right back in this boss arena? It would make no sense to spawn outside of it, so... Dude, that freaking combo. Oh, it is. Run that back. Um, let me... I think that's poison attacks, so the one thing I have remaining... Poison resist. Non-pure. The only piece of equipment I have that's... It's not the uh, new gear set. I actually want to backtrack away from this because there is a whole other boss fight I want to go do. Um, I don't know if this directly go ties into the next area, but before we before we continue with that, I I, I can beat that guy. Honestly, I'm pretty pretty close, but uh, I just choked on the last last attempt there. So I gotta remember where this final boss is here. I think it's actually over here. J 
trying to remember where to go here. This looks like a new area, but I don't think this is where my boss is. Maybe? Oh, maybe. This looks like it could be a boss. What the freak is this place? Water Curtain Cave. No, I think that's the path to the final boss. That I can't access yet. Let's keep on ascending. Where is this other boss at? I know there's another boss. Maybe this is it over here. This looks like it could be the path I'm thinking of. I know it's kind of over in, in a weird direction. All I know is it's another uh, Shigendang boss, I think it's called. Oh, is that it? Holy crap. No. You can't. You can't fight this thing. Oh my lord, I'm dead. How the freak is that fair? Dude, what the freak? Oh my god. What are we doing here? I gotta heal up. I'm already about to die. Is this another, like... I forgot the boss in uh, Dark Souls 3. I can't see where his fist went. I think I gotta hit these crystals. Oh. my lord. How the freak do you beat this guy? He won't stay still for any time. I'm lost. I definitely... I can tell you gotta hit these crystal things, but... And I'm dead. Wow! By the way, to get to this boss in the first- to even access this particular boss, you had to get, uh, four items that I had to look up. Um... I think they're... Like the thing you got for beating the- I think... No, you got it for collecting the six Buddha eyes in chapter two, one of them. They're all called Skanda. I think it's like feeling, thought, choice, and something else. Let me find out how to remember how to get over here in the first place. That's a, that's a insane boss fight already. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, I want to get this guy done first, then we'll backtrack to the Emerald, uh, not Emerald, Mantis guy. Um, this is, I think, more of a cheese boss where it's, I, I really am struggling with names at the moment. There's a boss in Dark Souls 3, it's a big tree guy that, uh, you pretty much attack his, like, I hate the, I hate the word so bad, but pus sacks? Let's, uh, go straight down, because he definitely does that. Shockwave attack right off the bat.
We gotta stick near one of his arms, but I wanna stick to this arm this time. I don't wanna lock on because it's gonna be garbage. I say it's a cheese boss, but it's still, he does a lot of damage. And I don't think Immobilize is gonna do crap on this one. See, just being in the range does damage. And I'm dead. Wow. What the freak? <laughs> Jeez. I might have to come back to this one. You'll probably see the winning run. This is another one where I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm probably going to mute myself because this is an embarrassing one. It's going to do so much damage. And I don't think Somersault, you can't use that during a boss fight. So I'll be right back on the winning run. So from what it seems, I was going about this the wrong way. Um, I was thinking I had to get close to his arms over there, but um, from trial and error so far, we pretty much just have to trigger his attack. Yeah, not do that. Um, stay out of his arm range over here, and eventually he'll do a slam attack. I died because of carelessness. That's how I realized it, but just gotta trigger his attack, and he'll eventually put his arms down. It's it's another cheese boss. Just gotta stay out of his range. Eventually he'll put the hands down long enough to um, deal some damage. Just gotta stay in range so he'll do the attack. can't even attack you over here, so... Wait for the second time. Sprint close. You get, you get quite a bit of time. Um... Run back. I I choked on that one. I didn't do enough damage. You gotta do it way sooner. Stay out of range again. He'll do this. You just dodge roll out of it. That's not that hard. Get him to trigger his attack again. Uh, like I said, I just choked that one really badly. Because I didn't, uh... Ooh, that got me worried there. It's It looks like you're in range still every time, and it scares the crap out of me. So those are easy to dodge. It's, an, it's a cheese boss. But I should have done more damage on that phase. It'll just take a little bit longer to do. He'll eventually do a long slam. It's the second of the big arm swings. 
So I'll do one one big swing. Make it a little closer. One big swing and it's just to attack these crystals. Run out of his range. You'll beat him just doing this. Just get out of his freaking range here. Stay at full health. You don't want to get careless. And even if I have ten gourd uses, I can I can afford it. Just keep dodging out of this one. I don't know what it does if it sucks you up or anything. I don't want to risk it. It seems like it's probably an insta death. Go back in. Trigger his attack range. And then freaking run away! It, it scares me every time. I'm like, is he just gonna extend a little further? That's easy to dodge, though. Don't let it... Don't let it be like a normal attack where you uh, dodge a little... Like, right at the tail end. Dodge a little early on this one. I think on this one we should be able to beat it. If I can't, eh, I'll wait, get him on the next one. But this is the process. You, I think you can get him on two. I choked on that first one. I very much choked on that first one. What? What else? What other? What are we doing here? Oh, we climbing up him? I did not know you do this. No way. Okay. I, I've not been this far yet, obviously. Is there a time limit, or is he just stuck like this? Because... Oh, no way! It's... Okay, this dude pops up on every of these Skanda locations. Um, you can just look up the locations. It's always next to a Buddha head. Usually a stone one. I did not see this before. I was not expecting this. Oh, is it a, another Skanda item? Because they're always like eye shape. Is that, is that it for the boss, though? Is Do I still fight him, or is he just done for? I think he's done for. Okay, that was an interesting boss. I'm gonna be honest. Not a huge fan. We've had some great Shigandang bosses already. Two of them, I think. Well, no, the first one technically wasn't Shigandang. You can summon Shigandang in his boss, Rena. There we go. Skanda of Consciousness. It's, by the way, it upgraded in rarity every time. So the ones we got, Skanda of Consciousness, the, the first one, Chapter 1, Skanda of Form. Uh, chapter 2, I think, Skanda of Feeling. I think it goes to Chapter 4, Skanda of Thoughts. 
five is choice, I believe. It might be three, four. And then six for Scond of Consciousness. I assume you go to somebody, one of your vendor guys, and it gives you something out of this. Um, it wouldn't just do nothing for this. So let's go back to our latest shrine. We are going to go f finish the Emerald Mantis. I think that's what he's called. We, we held off on it. I think I can beat this guy. It's not too bad. But I want to get this one because I don't know if this beating this guy, this Mantis boss, uh, heads straight to the new area. So I want to get everything done first in this chapter. So all we have left is the Mantis. <laughs> Let's skip into the boss fight here. We're going to try to uh, hold off on using a pluck of many until, or maybe not even use it at all. He doesn't have that much health. Now that we're in the second phase, since he has these long uh, kill moves, I would go straight to immobilize and a pluck of many. If I have to run this back another time, I will, but... Pluck of many. Get him, boys. rough. He is very rough. We're gonna run that back, obviously. Oh, God, he, this is the toughest so far, I think. Cloud Treading, it was annoying, but it wasn't that tough. Rhino, he didn't, once you just learned his dodge moveset, it wasn't that tough. I feel like I've had more tough with Shigandang than anything, actually. Keep running this back. Skip right through this. If I can't beat him on this try, I'll come back onto the winning run. First phase is easy. First phase, that's no problem. I think I can get it through mostly hitless. Mostly hitless. Let's heal up just to just to be safe. There's first phase. 
I wish if you skipped through it, you didn't have to sit through even this stuff. It would just go right into the boss fight. So we're going to uh, immobilize a pluck of many right off the bat. And I might actually try to do the fan. Heal up. There we go. Emerald Armed Mantis. That was a tricky boss fight. He just has such a long combo. I think that's the last one for the uh, equipment. Is he gonna puke us up? Oh, that's nasty. There it is, the Greaves. No, Greaves. Gauntlets. Greaves' boots. I owe you once more for saving my rump. We have the full armor set to be able to head on to the my final is not boss. Too vile, is it? I'm not a meat eater after all. I hope it didn't repulse you. Well, you fetched it. It wasn't all that bad, eh? <laughs> now that Wukong's armor set is complete, we should go to Water Curtain Cave. Come with me. We did discover that place. I don't know if there is a... Oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, long Soaring Bracers. Okay, that's what it is. So we know where a Water Curtain Cave is, but... I'll head there in the next part. Um, what does the equipment look like? Wait, it says five. Why is there five pieces? Is it a staff we need as well or something? Upon critical hit, slightly reduces cooldown for all spells for five of them. Where is the fifth one at? I have a lot of mythical gear now. There must be a staff. Honestly, I feel like we're going to end up using the Visionary Centipede Staff um, for whatever final boss fight. We're going to at least try it because of that focus point health recovery. Either way, okay, before we get distracted, um, next part we will head over to the Water Curtain Cave. Uh, in this playthrough, like I said, we're going to try to get both endings, which involves fighting the final boss twice. So the format in the next part, I'm going to try to fight the final boss um, and beat him. We're going to beat him in the next part. And then you can continue journey and go fight Erlang Shen, who is the secret boss to be able to get the so-called Chu ending um, from everything I've looked up. You can find this all online if you want to and uh, see it yourself. Um, but if you beat the final boss, continue your journey, and then go fight Erlang Shen, you can, and then come back and beat the final boss again, you can get the uh, both endings possible. Uh, so-called bad ending and a Chu ending. Well, that's where we're going to continue off in the next part. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time.
Take care.